All right, my name is Jerry Cromery. I am a retired Air Force Reserve Captain, having served uh, 12 years in the, in the United States Air Force. I am a volunteer with the Reserve Officers Association, now known as the Reserve Organization of America, and everything that I'm about to tell you has been done under the auspices of ROA. It began actually with a media broadcast, WTSP Channel 10, a reporter named Mike Deason, and the story was that he interviewed several veterans. Both of them had applied to uh, the Department of Veterans Affairs for disability, and both of their cases were denied because they had no medical records, and the reason for no medical records was the Army saw fit to throw the medical records away. You envision a fighter pilot wearing a helmet that weighs the several bowling balls. This fighter pilot is zigzagging up and down, back and forth. They don't go to the flight surgeon because the flight surgeon would ground them, so they keep flying. We call that service before self. The photographs that we have of the neck and back injuries are pretty gruesome. It's outrageous that veterans may have been injured uh, in their service and are still not getting the benefits that they deserve. Every month, he would come to my clown hall and raise this issue with me. And he started to talk to many members of Congress, many senators about this. This is an example of legislation that is taking place because of the initiative, passion, commitment of one person, and that is Captain Jerry Crawford. 